welcome to the episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Just chilling out on a Saturday afternoon. Nothing to do, so I thought I'd have a, a beer. This is similar to the one I did last night. This is the Schneider Weiss and Brooklyner Hopfen Weiss Ale. Um, although it says Hefeweizen and Ale on the label, it's technically a Weizenbach, which is basically a very spicy, oh, I guess you could call it an Imperial Hefeweizen. 8.2% ABV. There's two different versions of this. One's, one's the Schneider version made in Germany and one's the Brooklyn version made in uh, New York. Uh, there's a brief description on the back. Let me read this really quick. Uh, Schneider and Brooklyn are Heffern Weiss is a collaboration between brewmasters Hans Peter Drexler of the Schneider Weiss Beer Brewery and Garrett Oliver of the Brooklyn Brewery. Garrett and Hans Peter have long admired each other's beers. Now together they bring you a new sensation, a pale Weissbach, robustly dry hops with the Holler Tau Sapphire variety grown in the fields near the Schneider Brewery. Hoppy, zesty, and supremely refreshing, Schneider and Brooklyner Hopfen Weiss is a delicious blend of Bavarian craftsmanship and American ingenuity. So, it's a, it's a, collab it's a joint collaboration. I guess it's basically each each brewery sent their brewmaster overseas to oversee the the production of the other brewery's beer and they use local hops. Now I'm going to pour this just like last night fairly conservatively and just like any other Hefeweiz I'm going to stir this up because I'm not like Jay and I'm pour it straight down the center for so I have like two feet ahead and one inch of beer. Well, that's fantastic. I got that kind of marshmallow kind of head going over the top of the glass. You know, using my uh, Alexander Keith's IPA glass. Kind of looks like an IPA. It's like a very hazy, you know, it's like a, it's, this is more of an orange color. Uh, clearer on the bottom than on the top. Very, very hazy. I don't see any chunks, you know, or floaties or whatever you want to call them in there. You know, I had a pretty nice head on it. I wish I had a official wheat, wheat beer glass. It's got a very citrusy smell. This this is one of the most, you know, like lemony Hefeweizens I've ever smelled. Uh, okay, a little bit of clove in there. A little bit of banana. I'm not really picking it up all that much, but uh, maybe it'll be in the taste, so let's see. Hmm. Well, just like last night's beer, this is kind of like a two-part two part taste where it's very sweet and kind of light and watery uh, as you take a swig. And as you finish it, you get a real spicy kick to it. Very, very smooth beer. Very soft, gentle mouthfeel. Feels a little thick, though. Yeah, this is more of a... Uh, like a melange of spices. It's hard to pick out any single one or two. I think there's some, I think I'm getting nutmeg and kind of cinnamon, a little bit of clove. I don't really get any banana, which is odd because the authentic German Hefs, they usually do have like a banana kind of flavor from the yeast. The scent and like the taste kind of has like this very juicy quality. It's almost kind of like, like a tropical fruit juice and you know, at like the body, you know, it looks like juice too, like maybe passion fruit juice. Uh, you know, very hazy. I'm surprised this isn't leaving any lacing on the glass. It could be the humidity in here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this bottle is just soaked with sweat, and so is this glass. So, and my my table here is all wet. I only had this out for like two minutes, and just like saturated with sweat. It's very humid in here. This is really good. I think I like the regular Schneider a little bit better, but. Uh, I, I really can't find anything wrong with this. It's very, very tasty. And 
you know, for 8.2%, does not taste or feel like a very heavy beer. I mean, I guess we could uh, more accurately judge that after I finish this. It's a problem with, like, when you're drinking a heavy beer is you don't really notice it, how heavy it actually is until you're done with it, or until you drink two or so. It's starting to dry out more in the end now. I'm getting more of, like, this kind of almost kind of like a chalky aftertaste, but it only lingers for a second or two. Otherwise, it has a very clean finish. Yeah, it's getting a bit dry, like in my throat and my mouth, but uh, wow, the taste is just really, really good here because it's it's spicy, but it's not too, I, it's not too spicy. In fact, it's a lot milder than a lot of the uh, authentic Hefeweizens I've had. Yeah, the flavor remains uh, pretty intense throughout it. Uh, nice kind of juicy flavor. This, it's not so much of a citrus taste now, it's more of just kind of like a straight up weedy taste. You get a lot of yeast in the palate there too. Still really not a lot of banana and clove. I mean, they're there, but it, they're like really, really subtle and faint. Um, it's just mostly kind of like a fruity spice kind of taste. And you definitely do not taste the alcohol in this at all. This is by far the best beer that has masked the the alcohol uh, out of any beer that I've tried since I've been doing these reviews. It's a very refreshing beer. That was really good. I'm glad I had that. It's a great, you know, Saturday afternoon. Well, you can't tell, but I was watching the Mets game here. Um... Very, very tasty. And I, I'm actually kind of mad that I drank it so fast, but... Um, yeah, I love another one of these. The problem is they're kind of expensive. It, it was, you know, it was $5 just for this one bottle. And, you know, I only got one glass out of that. I really, really, really like it. Um, I think I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this one an 8. It's an excellent beer. And, like, there's really nothing wrong with it at all. The only thing... That I can like even remotely criticize it for is uh, it, there's a there's a really dry back end there, but like it doesn't leave a dry aftertaste. It's just as you're finishing it, you're getting like this spicy kick, but it's also a little bit dry. Um, but otherwise, the flavor is great, the mouthfeel is great, and for 8.2 percent, drinks like a 4 percent beer. So I I definitely highly recommend checking this out, and I'm gonna try to get the Brooklyn version to compare them. So, anyways, that does it for this review, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Chad. I just wanted to add a little addendum to this. You know, I changed my rating. I'm going to say 9 out of 10 for the uh, Schneider Brooklyner. It's, it's such a good beer. Like, like, the caveat that I had was just so minor, it's it barely even worth mentioning. So, 9 out of 10. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.